So we just saw a pretty complicated way to do a fairly simple conversion. But we're going to see that it's totally going to be worth it to write out these conversion factors with the units when we're doing slightly more complicated conversions. Uh, these are going to require us to use multiple conversion factors. And we don't have to use one conversion factor at a time. We can multiply one conversion factor by another. So here's what that might look like. So we're going to take what we know already, what we're starting with, which is 50 cubic centimeters, and we're going to convert it to gallons. So um, let's say we don't have access to the internet. Uh, we are going to have to do this step by step. So maybe we're going to convert to an intermediate unit, and then to another unit, and then finally to gallons. So let's come up with a plan to do this. So one thing to know that's very handy is that one cubic centimeter is also one milliliter. So a cubic centimeter is the same size as a milliliter. So that can be our first step to kind of go from centimeters to milliliters. And um, it's really easy to go from uh, one metric unit to another metric unit. So we can go from milliliters to liters pretty easily. Uh, because we know that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Milli means thousandth. And then once we're in liters, we can go to gallons. Because uh, I also happen to know that there are 3.78 liters per gallon. So we have our game plan. Cubic centimeters to milliliters to liters to gallons. Okay, so the first step, cubic centimeters to milliliters, it's pretty much just multiplying by one. But we're going to write this conversion factor in here just to show that we are canceling cubic centimeters and ending up with milliliters. So if we stopped here, we would have our answer 50 milliliters. But we're not going to stop here. We're going to keep going. And we're going to go from milliliters to liters. So when we multiply by the next conversion factor, the, liter, the unit we're going to is liters. We're going to put that on top. The unit we're canceling is milliliters. We're going to put it on the bottom. Milliliters divided by milliliters is one, so they cancel out, they can just disappear. And, and now we need to go to gallons, so, so again we want gallons to be on the top here, because that's the unit we're going to go into. We're going from liters, so here, liters down here will cancel liters up here. And now we just put in um, the numbers from our equality. So there are 3.78. Oops. No, there's not. There's 3.78 liters in one gallon, not 3.78 gallons in one liter. So let me try to fix that. So that lets us cancel out liters, and the only unit left here is gallons. So that must be the unit of our answer, which is what we want. So now all we have to do is the math here. So we're going to take 50 divided by 1,000 divided by 3.78. And when we do that, we can just punch that into our calculator. And it gets, uh, gives us 0 0.0132 gallons. Made with DoodleCast Pro.